Today, I'm doing a video on the basics of drone flying and not just flying, but what all do you get along with a drone and how to assemble it and all those points. So here it is, my DJI Phantom 3 4K Professional. And this is a hard case, a safety case, uh, which is made by DJI. I would recommend any of you who own drones to buy one of these cases, but again, it's not cheap. It's about 20,000 rupees in India. So I'll sit down and I'll show how to assemble the drone before you start flying one. And whenever you are working with a drone, assembling or dismantling it, sit on flat ground or have a proper table. Don't be in a hurry to do it. You don't wish to drop any of uh, the components because they can break. And here we go. Open up this case. And... These are the contents of you know of the uh, different parts of the drone and take out the safety strap and this of course is the main drone without the propellers and this is the transmitter and the receiver I'll get it out and this is the holder of the cell phone you can either have a cell phone here or an iPad mini so this is where you get the display of what the drone sees from the camera and a lot of vital statistics which I will show it to you when I'm flying. And let us keep it down here. And this is of course the main drone. And here is the camera with the gimbal. And this drone has a safety feature which secures the camera. And this is how it is. It kind of uh, holds on to the uh, gimbal and the camera. Kind of a lens cap and goes on to the top. So get this out very carefully. It's kind of tricky. Don't kind of pressurize any of the motors. Be careful there. Now see this is kind of a free thing. Be very careful. Keep it on your lap. And very carefully turn it around. And take out the lens cap come gimbal protector. Here we go. This is out. Keep it safe somewhere. And... Here is the drone. So keep it onto flat ground. And now the first thing that you need to do is put the propellers. Here are the props. And of course, these are the batteries. And uh, one battery goes inside the drone and another is a spare battery. Before flying, always check what is the battery level you have. Press this, you see it is full, right? All four of them because there are four different cells inside and they're fully charged. All right, and check the same thing on the transmitter if the transmitter is fully charged. You see four lights here. So it means the transmitter is fully charged. Make sure you have it because you don't wish to be running out of battery when you're flying the drone. Although this has sophisticated technology where the battery goes beyond a point. If it goes slow, it will fly back, but still. Now propellers. Get four of them out. And let me show this to you. There's another thing that you need to keep on your mind that is there are two silvers and two blacks okay so let us start with the silver and here on the drone you see two silvers and two blacks so the silver prop would go on to the silver area and you will see markings here which is the tightening and which is the loosening be very careful don't do it the other way and break the prop or the motor and also be very gentle you never have to over tighten anything okay so now this is where I've reached almost the end and one more turn and I'm done all right don't wrestle it now take another silver put it onto this same you go on to the right side very gently and when you are tightening it always hold on to the motor from the bottom and then tighten it Okay, as I said, gentle and no force. Yep, oh, okay, done. And now the turn for the black. Same way, but the black would be other way around, the left side for tightening. All right, tighten it. You are done. And another black. 
and tighten it. Yes, we are done. Now, what goes inside is the battery. But before I do that, I always make sure I set my transmitter up because you don't wish to have the drone powered up before the transmitter is ready because if something happens and the drone starts flying, you'll have no control to bring it back, correct? Just a safety feature of it. So I have my cell phone with me. It's always nice to have a cell phone with slightly bigger display. And before you put the cell phone up on the drone, do two things. One is brightness to the highest level and offline mode you don't wish to be getting a phone call when you're flying a drone correct so cut off any unnecessary applications and what you need here is to have a dji app this is the dji app downloaded from the play store it's a very nice app and now here we go i'm putting this onto my transmitter receiver pull it down we are good and make sure when you pull this down it's not pressing on to power button or the volume button because if that is happening it's not good so make sure it is on to the area where there are no button and have a cable now this cable is a general charging cable come data cable of your cell phone open it up and it connects to this area of the transmitter and receiver plug it in and now it has to be plugged into your cell phone but there's a lot of wire hanging here right a lot of cable i don't like that because it will kind of entangle somewhere which is not good so i kind of take a few turns around the stand area okay and now we have cut off the length and now put it on to your cell phone and this is how it looks all right so we are good to go and have both the antennas right up here and now power on the transmitter receiver that is one two three keep it pressed the third time and you hear that sound T -d -d, it means it's up and you get the prompt saying okay it means the app is running now you don't have to select which model of the drone you're flying manually you don't have to do it the moment you switch on your drone it will detect it okay so now let me keep the transmitter down get the battery out now this is a high performance uh, uh, lipo battery so this is 15.2 volts and 4480 milliamps so this would last for about 23 minutes of flight time that is a claimed flight time by dji but after about 15 or 16 minutes, it would get to the reserve mode at about 27% uh, when it is there. And below 25 or below 20%, it would, uh, you know, kind of automatically fly back to your home location. I'll show it to you when I'm flying. So now, as I always mentioned that check your batteries and hold your drone up and very carefully insert this into this area. Okay, this way. And this will be a very snug fit okay remember that because when the drone is flying you don't want the battery to fall off so take it in take it in take it in it has to click you heard that click it's a solid click all right and even when you're removing it there are two buttons at top at the bottom press it like this and it's kind of tight okay now get it out so make sure you don't get it out in a way where you hit the props and break the prop or damage the motor so Clear this area and now do it again. All right. Good. And now another thing that I do, another safety feature, that is I put on a neck strap and put it to my transmitter here. The reason why I do that like this is in case I'm standing up and flying. If there's any emergency where I have to get both my hands free, and if I don't have this, what would I do? I might drop the transmitter. But if I have this, I'll just leave the transmitter like this and it'll keep hanging in my neck. Got it? So very good safety way. And now I also have another thing that is called, it's an aftermarket part. It's called a gimbal come camera protector. 
So this is 100% carbon fiber part imported from uh, I don't know which place my friend got it. Here we go. Okay, it's very lightweight carbon fiber. What we do is, here is the camera and the gimbal, correct? So now in case there's an emergency landing and if the drone kind of hits hard to the ground and if there's any stone or uneven surface, it would hit the camera and the gimbal and it would damage it, right? So we have this and this would get onto the landing gear and oh, <laughs> what I break. sorry baby sorry okay all right so in case we have anything it would still give it some kind of protection okay uh, all right and now what else what else do we have anything missing no everything is good now put it back and keep the case aside and I think we'll go out now and fly. So before we do that, always remember I made a video on drone legality in India. So do watch it. I'll put up the link in the des description because there are a lot of sorry res restrictions when it comes to flying drones in public space. So make sure you know what you're doing. Let's go. So as I mentioned, have an open space when you're doing it. And this is in front of my house. I kind of know this place really well and number one flat even surface make sure it is absolutely even okay and also on the top make sure there are no wires no trees no cables and no whatever <laughs> just has to be open sky okay and now another thing uh, the good feature here is that if you have an Android phone, the transmitter receiver also charges the phone. My phone is 50% battery and is charging it, which is a very cool feature. But it doesn't do it on Apple. I don't know why. So, cool. And this, uh, let me show basic controls of the transmitter receiver. Okay. This is a home button. So, any situation where you want to bring the drone back automatically, you just press the home button and the drone would come back. Okay. And these are the controls where this is up, this is down, okay? And this is yaw. Yaw means the drone would stay in the same place and fly like this, okay? And I would show it again. I'll keep drone at one place and show it to you. And this is front, means don't fly like this. This is back, this is left, this is right, okay? And these controls are for the camera of the, uh, to kind of point it up and down. And this is a record button. And these are advanced buttons for follow me feature and all that. Okay, we can get into this detail later on. And uh, this is of course a different, uh, you know, button, play button. So cool, here we go. So what I do right now is uh, I will start the drone. And the way to do it is press this once twice and keep it held. When you hear that -da -da -da, it means it's good to go. Okay. And now it's kind of auto configuring. And here we go. It has detected saying Phantom 3 professional. Okay. Aircraft connected. And now we hit on camera. So when we hit on camera, it gives the status of the aircraft. It says updates required, but I've done most of the updates, so don't worry about that. And generally, we can do a compass calibration, but I know it's kind of good to go, no problem. And you gotta see this, that is radio channel quality good. Okay, and just go through all of these. Aircraft battery, 100%. Remote battery, 100%. Please check it on the map. So it said home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. It means the takeoff and landing spot has been registered on GPS include from the satellite. And it says uh, aircraft battery temperature 24 degrees Celsius, which is good. And gimbal status normal. Okay, in case the gimbal has an issue, it will show that here. So all of these things are good. And we click here, I mean end, and we get to the camera mode. And it says aircraft warming up. Till the time it doesn't say good to go here, you should not take off because the motors and the battery and everything has to warm up. And here is the button for takeoff, auto takeoff, and this is for home button. And here you see how many GPS satellites we have. 
that is we have eight satellites it will get more satellites soon in case there are very less satellites it's not safe to fly and here is the transmitter signal that is the signal that is going from the transmitter to the drone and back and this is the hd signal that is the uh, video that is coming back to your cell phone so this is the hd signal and the battery of the drone that is 98 percent here okay and uh, here is the setting 1080p 60 fps and it shows i have one hour and 11 minutes of video recording left and here you can select if you want video or if you want photographs and you can go into the menu you can select automatic or manual controls and everything okay so that is good and here it shows the height okay from the ground it is zero and uh, the distance it shows two meters two meters i'm away from the drone here and kilometers per hour the f drone speed okay and the other one i kind of forgot don't worry <laughs> and uh, this is uh, this is height from the i have forgot that also don't worry let's see what it is and i think that's that's good to go it says ready to go friends okay so now we have the option of either doing auto takeoff or manual takeoff i'm going to show both of them to you and before i do that okay i'll not record okay let me record now anyway okay record so it is recording all right let me check the gimbal how it is operating so i will do kind of uh, you know left right okay and go up i mean down up okay so gimbal is camera is kind of fine no issue with that so let's keep it at normal position and now there's an auto takeoff where move back a little and I will stay closer to the camera so that you can see. So now for beginning, when we are learning to fly the drone, what we can do is we can click on auto takeoff. So the aircraft will climb to a certain distance, I mean height. It's I think three feet or something. It will stay there. Okay. So let us click this and it will say ensure it is safe to take off. Aircraft will rise to 1.2 meters and hover. So slide it. Isn't that cool? So the aircraft actually stays there, okay? But make sure you don't get too close to it because in the end it's a machine and something can go wrong and the props are spinning really, really fast, okay? And now I'll show it to you, show these controls to you. If you do this, it will go up. Saw so that? And if you do this, it will come down. Okay? And if I do this, it will yaw. See that? The reason it's not staying stable is because too close to the ground and it's its own prop wash it's making it's unstable. So if we go here, it'll stay stable. You see that? And the yaw will be much perfect. See, see that? How well it's yawing now? Still the prop wash is causing interference. Okay. And I will what I'll do right now is I'll land it and I'll show it to you how to manually take off again, okay? So gradually, the way, the way to do it is be easy on the controls, very easy. See this way, the drone will start coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down, coming down. Easy, 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 easy. Keep it held to the bottom and it cuts off, all right? So friends, that was auto takeoff and manual landing. I'll show auto landing also later on. Now I'll show you what is manual takeoff, all right? For manual takeoff, we got to kind of get our hands onto it a little bit more, but don't worry. Be easy on the controls. That is, pull both the sticks diagonally to the bottom this way. And it, in, the motors have started, but it will not take off. So now I will have to manually take off this way. That is... Okay, as I said, be very easy onto the controls, all right, very easy. And anything goes wrong, just leave anything and everything. Just leave all the controls, aircraft will just hover there, all right? So you don't have to worry about it crashing. These are sophisticated machines, it not crash so easily. And I'll show you this, that is, if I press this, it will come forward. And if I forward this towards me, if I press this, it will go back, all right? 
and this is right this is left okay let's stop it there and let's what do you want to see now uh, kind of go higher okay let us go higher the trick behind having easy smooth footage is have nice smooth controls okay this is what it will show on the cell phone okay i am yawing and taking some footage there and now at any point if you think that you cannot see the drone or if it's kind of too far and if you wish to bring the drone back okay all that you have to do is hit the home button here or or on the transmitter okay so let me hit here and you will see auto landing but even when it's auto landing you have to make sure that there are no interference if keep an eye on the drone in case i feel that it's getting too close to the tree or something you can abort the landing by you know kind of uh, getting push, pushing the stick up i'll show it to you okay the auto landing see the drone drone will come back it's assessing now and see it'll exactly almost exactly come and land see my hands are free right now okay hands are free and the drone is landing at the spot where it kind of took off that's it that was automatic landing so i've shown you manual landing manual take off auto landing and uh, auto take off and what else do you would you like to know about the drone uh, how far it can go the claimed distance is uh, 5 kilometers from the transmitter 5 kilometers is a lot but in urban situations where we have cell phone towers which are very powerful interference and we have other radio interferences here i think it will do about a kilometer or so uh, and beyond that the signal start getting weak so but if you are outside somewhere you know some outskirts of the city where the cell phone interference is not so much there you can go really really far and the height i think it can do i went up to 700 feet and you you can go much higher than that also without interference and uh, well uh, yeah also the features where it records video on an sd card on the drone okay and the, as a backup what it does is it also records video on your cell phone's memory so just in case if you're shooting something very very critical and you end up losing your drone but you'll still have the footage on your cell phone but the cell phone footage is not as high quality as the footage which is on the drone okay so i think uh, that is it or anything more so all i would like to say is that take your time learn basically before you start flying the drone you spend time on understanding the controls left right up down all of these and then your life will be easy so that is it friends if you have uh, anything more to know let me know and uh, i can help you out thank you bye bye